Hello and welcome to Car Firm. Today we have our 2014 Mercedes CLS 250 with us and um, I've been driving this car for about eight or nine miles now and um, one of the first things you notice is how smooth this car is and how comfortable it is as well. And the second thing you notice is the power. Um, so let's talk about the comfort side of things first. So suspension and setup is very good. It deals with all the bumps and everything on the road very well and um, the cabin is very quiet as well and um, just a general comfort um, you know when you're in um, uh, eco mode um, in the car like I said everything is just nice and chilled out very nice and soft and it drives superb now when you switch things over to sport mode and um, the gearbox kicks down the steering wheel gets heavier and throttle response is a lot sharper and that results in the performance being a lot better now let's pick up some speed there we go so that's six mile an hour already and I'll be totally honest with you the difference between this and the CLS 350 in terms of actually what it feels like when you're driving is very very little and you know the 350 yes it is more powerful however this still has plenty of power um, at no point I've been driving this car I thought to myself I wish it had more power or I wish this was a 350 because the way it is is just absolutely spot on. You've got the full comfort of the CLS and you've got the great performance of that 3 litre engine as well. Now steering wheel is nice and direct in this car as well. There's no tracking or balancing issues whatsoever and it's just nice and straight, plenty of feedback and you know the direction is actually very quite good as well. You don't have to turn it too much for it to change direction and there's no steering wheel play on this either. Now, the other thing is the brakes. Um, it has very strong brakes and there's no shaking or juddering from the brakes at all. Um, also, I've noticed you don't have to press them so hard um, because they are actually really quite strong and they bring you to a very, very quick stop. So that's from 50 mile an hour without even doing an emergency brake. Um, the vehicle does have ABS as well. So if you did do an emergency brake, ABS will kick in to avoid you from locking up and skidding on. Um, but your day-to-day -day basis driving, you know, this will do the job absolutely fine. Now, you've also got the manual mode as well. And with the manual mode, obviously you've got flappy paddles, you can change gears yourself. And the gearbox works so well because that goes part of the comfort and the smoothness of the car because the gearbox works so well that you barely notice the gear changes. Unless you're in a sport mode and the gears, gear changes are a bit more aggressive and you, f you feel it more, yes. Um, however, when you're in eco mode or you're in manual mode, um, it is all very, very smooth. And especially between the gear changes because when I want a gear, I touch the paddle and it just changes straight away. There we are, we're at 70 mile an hour already. I only managed to get up to fourth gear. and. There we go, so we're in seventh gear now. Revs have dropped nice and low, and it is just a very, very nice cruise now. So overall, this car drives really well from the engine, steering, gearbox, suspension, um, everything works the way you should, and it's absolutely spot on. If you're interested in this car, head over to our website, carfam.co.uk, reserve it with a fully refundable 100 pounds, and we'll hold a few for seven days. And here at Car Firm, we have over 100 cars and vans in stock at all times with very competitive finance packages, tailor made mats, extended warranties, and pay protection. So, any questions regarding this vehicle or our services, feel free to get in touch with us and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.